if you want to work out how many working days there are in a year or a month or between any two dates you don't have to go and get the calendar and count them you can use Excel's network days and network days international function the functions are extremely simple you'll see I can go find the network days the way network days works is it says give me a start date give me an end date and you can then specify a whole bunch of holidays in that time period generally speaking these should probably have dollar signs on because it will always be the same set and you'll see it tells me there's 251 working days so between that date and this date given those holidays that's how many working days there are this function it's an older function assumes that a weekend is Saturday and Sunday only however there is a new function called network days international so I'm just going to start typing here and you'll see why I use rather use this start date again is that one put a comma end date is this one and when I put a comma now it asks you what is a weekend so one is the default Saturday Sunday but perhaps we're actually in another country where it's Friday Saturday I'm just gonna say tab comma I can then specify the holidays so pretty much the same put my dollar signs and when I close it and enter you'll see in a country with Saturday Sunday as a weekend it was 251 days with a country with Friday Saturday it's 253 days so this is a nice easy way to work out how many working days are there and you can then put your productivity on to see how much money can you make or what are the costs going to be in a given time period.